Thanks for tuning in to another episode of MiguelCarrasco.com where marketing and technology intersect. I'm actually in LA at the uh, Blog World and uh, New Media Expo and I ran into, I like to say a good friend of mine, I feel like I've known him forever online, um, Darren Rose from ProBlogger. Hi Darren, how are you? Hi. Well thanks, it's been a good, good expo. Awesome, so uh, I heard a great keynote that uh, or presentation that he did uh, yesterday and it was phenomenal and the story that I love the most about, about you is kind of how you were really the first true professional pro blogger. Uh, per se and kind of following you along and you know I used a lot of that in my career and I'm interested just to hear what kind of got you started on the, on blogging and, and when when you kind of felt that it might be a viable business for you. Yeah so I started in November of 2002 um, felt I was completely late uh, <laughs> like I, I should have started a year or two before and yet continued on uh, my first blog was very personal it was just an extension of life really it was more of a diary than anything else um, probably a year and a half after that I started to narrow my focus focus down onto different niches um, and I did that because my readers started to complain that I was writing about too many different diverse topics. I was writing about things that they just weren't interested in. Um, they were there for one topic but not the other one so I broke the blog down into a variety of blogs and uh, at the same time the blog started to cost me more money than it. So how many blogs did you have going at that Well at one point I had 30 going but 30 blogs. at that point it was probably just two or three. Wow. Uh, yeah and the main one was a photography blog which isn't even active today. Um, and uh, I, it started to cost me money to run it so I started to play around with some ads on it and uh, using some affiliate programs and it made enough to pay for itself and uh, you know, pay for my internet access and that type of thing so from that point I, I guess I began to think you know maybe this could be a part-time job maybe this could be more than just a, a hobby. And you said, you said you told your wife about this and what did she think? Oh look it took, she, she <laughs> humored me for a long yeah. time <laughs> she was like yeah no it's, uh, it's okay and uh, I guess it started to eat up more and more of my time mm. and I began to see you know there was potential here but um, I wasn't really treating it as a business I was treating it as a, uh, a hobby really um, and and thought one day maybe it could be a business um, and so was treating it that way probably for too long and she pretty much snapped one day and she said you just got to do it you just got to um, focus on this um, and we set ourselves a deadline of six months to go full-time from that point um, or get a real job Wow <laughs> that's great and yeah. So, uh, and so obviously the pro blogging went really well. You launched some books, uh, e-books and things like that yep. as well. Um, I'm, I'm curious, what's, uh, for a lot of the readers that I have, you know, they're just getting started with blogging and things like that. What's, uh, what's one of your top three tips that you could give someone in terms of blogging and what they should do day one that maybe you wish you would have known in 2002? Yeah, probably one of the big things is thinking about who you want to read your blog. Uh, that's an exercise that I've done uh, on new blogs since, is really develop a document, start a document document and write, you know, this is who I want to read my blog and describe them, describe who they are, where they live, how much money they have and how they spend their money as it relates to your topic, um, how they use the web, what sort of technologies they use, are they on email or are they on Twitter. The more you know about who you want to read your blog, the better. Um, and also thinking about their problems and their needs, that will help you identify, you know, the content that you should be writing and also give you some hints as to where to go and find them online. Yeah. We talked a little bit about that in your in your keynote and building a persona yeah. and I come from a software development background and we do that exercise all the time yeah. building personas so I found that uh, that really related as yeah. well. And people do that in all kinds of industries so mm -hmm. I stole it from an ad, ad executive who mm -hmm. did that every time he made an ad he built this persona first yeah. Um, so yeah I think it's it's something that you can, can really help a lot. So and uh, so deep down kind of in closing a little bit what what drives you like what wakes what gets you woken up in the morning to obviously spend some time away from your family spend some time here with with yeah. all of us eating up your time trying to get a yeah. hold of you and what really keeps you motivated and blogging all the time and just keep um, I think a lot of it comes down to one my family and I'm trying to feed them <laughs> keep them keep them growing and clothed and stuff but um, I think ultimately most of what I do is just trying to help people um, whilst it's nice to make money ultimately my goal in life is to make other people's lives better in different ways and you know I have some passions to do that in, in areas of um, where people are living in poverty and with disability and stuff like that and a lot of the money side of things that's why I'm trying to make money is to actually be able to, to give some away but also just in, in the blogs themselves I'm just trying to help people um, in their photography in their blogging that's that's what I'm about. Well, that's awesome I mean I really just personally want to thank you so much for everything you did I literally read all your blogs since since the early days and even saw your blog evolve and when you change the skins and yeah. all those types of things I mean it's been awesome to see kind of where you've taken it and you've been uh, super inspirational to me cool. so I want to thank you for that. Thank you. So with that I just wanted to thank you
you again for tuning in to MiguelCarrasco.com and I hope you live with passion. To